Boxes with very low-held gloves for the most part, though. Mayweather. Just wonder whether one day he might be made to pay for that. But he's so quick. A little uh, caution for Juco about the low blow. That looked a very good punch, that right of a cut. Mayweather, his promoter Bob Arum, saying that he comes from the same kind of line, and this is high praise indeed, that produced Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, and then Sugar Ray Leonard. He feels that Mayweather could go on to be that big. Well, I think that the proof will be in his longevity, but certainly at this juncture, he looks a, a fine talent, very, very quick, with a, an awful lot to offer the game. Decent left to the body from Juco. He'll be happy if Mayweather just lays on the ropes and makes himself a target for a moment or two because he looks elusive apart from everything else most of the time. He really does look as if he's enjoying himself in there. He does have that air of confidence. Still can't get into it, Justin Juco. Finding he's in just maybe a league and a half too deep at the moment. work for Justin Juco in the first of the two world title fights tonight. Still to come, remember, the phenomenal Oscar De La Hoya. And his fights here are like rock concerts, I tell you. Screeching girls at the way and two-thirds of the audience at the way and were uh, of the female fan club, I think. And the whole school had a half day off to go and see it. Unbelievable stuff. It must have been a girls' school because of the rock concerts. Here's the fifth round of this one. Floyd Mayweather making his third defense of this WBC Super Featherweight Championship in the nine stone four pound division against the one time British based Justin Juco. Juco based these days in Las Vegas, but he was uh, trained in Millwall for a time by Dean Powell, who will be watching this with great interest somewhere back home tonight. Evening, Dean. Cracking right hand from Mayweather. Well, that's how I've got it. Everything for Mayweather. Really just not doing anything wrong at this point. And it needs Duco to try and up the pace. He's got to try and test Mayweather more than he's doing. He's got to go for it, hasn't he? Another chance isn't going to come along anytime soon. That's right. It, um, cannot, he's waited a long time for this chance as well. And I think if anybody will understand what it feels like and will be that happy to get one, it'll be him. So he really... He's got to try much harder than this. Having said that, if he's too gung-ho and charges in, you can imagine the kind of painful damage that Mayweather might inflict on the counter. I mean, it's all right for us, isn't it? Sitting at ringside, we're not taking the shots. Get some right hand there, landing for Juco. Just trying to do a little more. And again, Mitch Halpern not happy with... Uh, Juco straying a little bit low. You know you're away when you fight in Las Vegas, don't you, against uh, one of the promoter's champions? <laughs> yes, you do. But Juco is trying to pick it up now. Near where the contenders stand, they're even cocky enough to stick his tongue out at Juco. There's some mesmerizing stuff here now from Mayweather.
little feints with the shoulder Eva from Mayweather who's going through the full repertoire telling me the other day he wants to fight Prince Nassim Hamid. I said, oh, you can't do that, you're a super feather, he's a feather. He said, we'll make it at nine stone two pounds then, in American pounds, of course. Wants to do it, it's a fight he wants. Well, it's, uh, it would be a great fight if it could, if it could happen. <laughs> it does appear to have a great deal of respect for Nassim Hamid. Wilson is a, a very good fighter. Well, that would be an absolutely storming fight. Just a reminder of what is to come. Oscar De La Hoya starting a 12 to 1 on betting favourite to beat Ovar Carr of Detroit tonight. But Carr is a very high class operator. He can box and move, and uh, he's been talking a great fight. This week, only lost twice in 10 years. You gotta do it for me, know you're trying. You know what you're doing, baby? You're busting for me. You're busting for me. You let him get off. Well, I don't think they're that happy with him. There's a, a very good punch pushing Juku on the back foot, but a little unhappy with him pausing too much. They want him to be quicker and not allow Juku to get in the fight. Let's go. Showing the lightning reflexes there, how quick he is to come back. With a counter. So the sixth round here then. Floyd Mayweather from Grand Rapids in Michigan. And Rapid is absolutely right with him, isn't it? It's the right birthplace for him. The yellow of Justin Juco. Juco almost seems to be boxing in slow motion by comparison, doesn't he? Mayweather's that fast. Yes, he's much quicker. The right hand is an awesome punch from Mayweather, so quick. There it is again, and Juco still hasn't corrected that fold of leaving himself open for that particular punch. I've noticed in one or two previous Juco fights where he's been dominating against much lesser opposition that late in the fight he sometimes just starts to lose concentration. And that's what happened when he lost to Antonio Hernandez last time out, winning the rounds and then got stopped in the 11th, flawed and stopped. Well, his concentration, concentration is going to be very, very good tonight because really he can't afford any slips here, not with the, the speed and the reflexes of Mayweather. Oh, he's just staggered him a little bit with that left hand. He seemed to lose his balance. Not sure how badly shaken he was by it. It might have been a balance problem for Juco. What did you think, Glenn? Well, it was a, a decent combination. I think maybe he did catch him with a good one and another. Yeah, that's stiff on the legs, all right. The right hand from Mayweather. Is he on the verge of a more serious breakthrough here now, Floyd Mayweather? And now he's content to stand right in front of Juco. He's looking to him, Lord. Well, Juco won't appreciate it, but I think it's great that World Boxing has got a young talent like this coming through. Sport needs big stars, and I think Mayweather is destined to become one. Well, he is already, really. Yes, I think Mayweather in the future is going to be involved in some great fights. Looks as if he is going to be a big name for the future. It's Juco's considerable misfortune that when his chance has arrived, it's against somebody this hot. Be looking to get the job over with, I think, though, now. Floyd Mayweather. I think his corner want that. They want him to stop posing and going through his repertoire and doing the exhibition stuff. Well, it's one-sided, but I think it's a fascinating first real chance for British viewers to get a look at this Floyd Mayweather. I think the people have read about him in the boxing press. 
how good he is, and now I think they're seeing just how good he is. <laughs> well, it's a great opportunity for them and us to see, of course, how good he is. I mean, you really can admire the skills that he has. Just starting to do a little more, but I think I've admired his patience. You know, he hasn't been reckless. I thought that would maybe be a, a problem with him. You know, he gave Duco due respect. He's had a good look at him. Now, I think he's looking for the, the right openings. I believe in the, the last round, he did hurt Duco with a couple of shots. He'll realize that now, and I think he'll, he'll start to pick up the pace from here. Seventh round. Well, at least Juco hasn't been blown away in his long-awaited world title opportunity. But I think it's fair to say, as yet, he hasn't asked Mayweather what you'd call anything like a serious question. Juco, who'd won 30 in a row before that defeat I was telling you about last time out against uh, Hernandez. The only other defeat in his career was against a guy called Norberto Bravo, but around the time of that fight, Juco's father had um, died in mysterious circumstances in Uganda, and I think uh, it had certainly upset him mentally, and understandably so. Well, really, me wasn't making this look very simple, and Juco is a, a decent fighter. Remember at 17, he was a Commonwealth Games gold medalist, so there's quality right through with him. Juco wanted to stand and trade for a moment there with Mayweather. really is a case of now you see him, now you don't, isn't it, with this young fella. He's in and out so quickly with the shots. Yes, and when he gets that jab working, really is a blistering punch. Very difficult to, to defend against something thrown that quick in a straight line. Juco has got him there on the ropes, but just can't nail him with anything. That's better. He got his jab in for really quite firmly for... Almost the first time there, for the head anyway. Now just sensing that coming to the end of the round, now he starts oh. to pick it up. Little cut on the cheekbone for Juco's looking the worst for wear. Punches thrown in the flash of an eyelid from Mayweather. Oh, he got caught with the right on the counter there, though, and he pokes his tongue out at Juco. Maybe a little sign that the punch did have some effect. Well, I think he'll certainly he'll have felt it. And he's got pretty decent power, Juco. You wouldn't call him a big knockout specialist or anything like that, but his stoppage record's pretty handy. Yes, he has re respectable power. He certainly gets somebody's attention if he hits them correctly. Well, maybe that'll just lift Juco a little bit. Maybe he thinks that Mayweather will slow up later on in the fight, but uh, there's some hope, really. There's a bit of verb was going on between them as they uh, parted at the end of that last round. Yes, I think they're just getting to the point in the fight where Mayweather was getting through, starting to hurt, and then Juco come back with a, a decent shot. So the, the characters are just Take having a little go at each other. Just showing that, that excellent jab. That's a decent left hook there from Juco, wasn't it, as well, though? Yes, he had a, a little bit of success in the, the last round. There's the, the right hand towards the end of the round, which was a good punch. He brought the, the little tongue episode out from Mayweather. The eighth round coming up at this sold-out Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. It's first ever dip into the boxing world tonight in this uh, arena, which was launched with a concert by that noted heavyweight Pavarotti. 
This could be the arena that you see the Lewis Holyfield rematch in. That's what the smart money's saying. Maybe November the 13th. Mayweather looking as if he might be open to a right hand. Well, he's so quick, he can just go from defense to throwing a combination and attack in almost the, the blink of an eye. Tough night for Juco, who first burst onto the scene, winning a Commonwealth gold when he was only 17 at light flyweight. Two stone heavier now than that. Contempt inside there, just prepared to block the shots to the body with his hands and elbows, but doing it very well. Just looking a little wild for the first time, Mayweather there. Maybe just getting a shade desperate to get it over with. Juco is an experienced campaigner. He might just hang on in there and hope that something gives for him. Listen, when he does get a little desperate and when he's trying that bit hard, his chin does come in the air noticeably. That's something they've got to work on. Juco may be thinking, well, if I could just find one punch to get him going. I could turn this all around, turn it on its head. That's how he'll be seeing it anyway. But it's a dazzling and virtuoso display again from young Floyd Mayweather. Yes, look at that work behind the jab. Five, six unanswered jabs. Now his hand low, brings it from very low down like Sugar Hill Energy used to do, but it does work, does connect. This little idiosyncratic turn of the shoulders and faint with the shoulder from Mayweather. Listen to the crowd applauding his work. More chat between them. I'll tell you what, if Mayweather did fight Naz, the press conferences wouldn't be dull, would they? <laughs> I think they'd be very loudly. I think they might have as many people in as the, as the fight itself. More likely opponents down the road for Mayweather are the IBF champion Robert Garcia, I hear. And there has been talk of a possible move up to fight Shane Mosley. Been a lot of uh, back chat going on between those two camps. No love lost at all, particularly between the respective fathers. Mayweather Senior was he calling Mosley Senior a punk and a chicken in a recent interview. Well, that's fighting talk if ever I heard it. <laughs> it really is, yeah. And he said, don't worry about it, my Floyd would take him out of there in no time. <laughs> Sell a ticket or two, wouldn't it? may not happen anytime soon. Back to this one, ninth round, Mayweather. Long way ahead here against Justin Juco. Spasmodic successes for Juco, but no more than that. Just deliberately taking those shots on the arms there. Mayweather, he's almost treating it as exhibition stuff at times, isn't he? Yes, he really is, but he does have good defensive skills because almost all of those punches were landing on the arms. He can't afford to do that, to stay inside and just block them with his elbows and arms. He really has got there some good skills. He really is going to take a terrific fighter, I think, to beat Floyd Mayweather. No time giving it just everything to Mayweather. Oh, no, much like another. And steady on his feet and down this time from the right hand. The fall came from a predictable route. He'd had to take a lot of those. Can Juco 
come back from this. He looks a lot the worse for wear. Is he going to make it? No, he doesn't. He's knocked out in the ninth round. Floyd Mayweather retains the title. It was all too much for Justin Juco. And this young man looks a brilliant and hot property. Well, look how quick he did that. He's just standing around, taking punches defensively, blocking them in the arms, and then all of a sudden just unloads with two punches, and it's all over. It really is a, a tremendous talent. He really is a phenomenon. His dad with him in the corner. Bob Aram, the promoter, obviously, he is happy as well. And this is how it ended. Big right hand there hurt Juco. The legs are, are starting to go. He drops his hand and quickly on him with a short right hand. Just see the speed there. He just didn't give him a chance. There's the, the first one. He just senses that Juco is hurt. Drops his arms and look how quick he reacts. Lightning fast right hand. Well, he's as good as all the publicity, isn't he? Floyd Mayweather. And let's hope Justin Juco is all right after all of that. And somebody's on the floor, and a lady on the floor. I think somebody's had a push in the ring there. No right. That's the young lady who was coming in to give Floyd Mayweather a bit of a hug, I think, wasn't it, just now? Not sure what happened there. It happened out of our sight, and she's taking a knock to the head in there. So there's obviously some kind of pushing and shoving. Whether there was an accident in there, but uh, well, that's uh, that's sad to see amid the celebrations that were going on. It's Floyd Mayweather. Senior looking on. Well, she jumped in the ring and jumped towards Mayweather. Could well be a member of his family, his mother, or. Some, uh, some anxious faces there among the Mayweather family. And nobody quite sure what exactly happened there, whether she maybe just collapsed. Seems to be talking while she's lying down there anyway. Yeah, we'll transport her, but we'd like to get her out of there. I think they're going to give her a bit of oxygen treatment. Just take some nice slow deep breaths. That's just something cold. Everything's going to be okay. Well, they're comforting her, and I'm sure that uh, she'll be kept under close observation. Try to find out a little bit more about that for you and what exactly happened in there. It wasn't clear, and I mean, the uh, general mayhem that goes on in a fight. There always seems to be something happening when the Mayweathers are involved in fights. I remember uh, Roger Mayweather actually knocking out Lou Duva once after a fight, the, the veteran trainer. He's obviously very upset. Floyd Mayweather, very concerned. We'll wait and see if we can get a game. Well, I'm just wondering if that's his mom. Yes, I, I think it is. He's just excited. Ma'am, can we get you up on that stool one sec? Yes, Floyd's mom, so uh, let's hope everything's all right with her. So we don't know whether she just had a fall, whether she was pushed, or whether she may have just collapsed to a middle of the side. Maybe just a, a little exuberance. She did rush in the ring. We just got a glimpse of her rushing to congratulate her son. I'm going to help you down in just a second, OK? All right, what we'd like to do, we're going to just have her stand up if she feels OK. Who's been working the big fights for as long as I can remember in Las Vegas. Actually took Morris Hope to hospital after he'd been knocked out by Wilfredo Benitez back in uh, 1981 around here. And Morris recovered to get married the next day. Well, she's on her feet now. 
and uh, I hope the story is going to have a happy ending. It certainly had a happy ending for her son tonight, who was absolutely dazzling and brilliant, and it was Justin Juco's considerable misfortune to run into somebody as excellent as Floyd Mayweather. Ninth round knockout, Mayweather still the champion, and he won every round. So let's just uh, stay with it for a moment and see that uh, Mrs. Mayweather is okay. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mitch Halpern reaches the count of 10 at 1 minute, 20 seconds of round number 9. The winner by knockout victory, still the undefeated WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. So he's still the champion, and I think he's going to have a word with Larry Merchant in just a moment. There's Larry now. Thank you very much, fellas. Uh, Floyd, can you tell us, uh, did you say something to your grandmother, or did she say something to you, or um, she was just overtaken with excitement? Well, first of all, I want to thank God for this, this victory, and I want to say that um, my grandma just was, was a little anxious a tonight, little anxious um, tonight to, get um, to get in here and see me. She was happy that I got the victory. So I guess she um, she lost, lost a little oxygen, you know. So um, she, she's going to be okay. Just hyperventilated a little it's bit a little there. Bit. It's kind of hot in here. It's cool. <laughs> You put a lot of pressure on yourself because you feel you're a great fighter, not getting all the recognition you deserve. Do you feel you have to close the show the way you finally were able to close it tonight? I mean, Justin Juco was a very tough opponent. He came in at the last minute, but he was already training for a, a tough fight. But um, I took my time, stayed, stayed focused, kept my composure, listened to my corner, and um, I got the job done. Let's take a look. Your right hand seemed to be the punch that you were, you felt you could land all the time tonight. Tell us about it. What were you looking for? I was just, I was just using a pull counter. And um, the shot was landing all night. I was taking my time, you know, using my shoulder, landing, you know, landing smart shots. Taking were you surprised that, that he was as tough as he was given the short notice he took this fight on? But Ju Juco was already training for a fight. He's going to fight a week after this. I knew he was going to be a tough opponent. But um, I just took my time, listened to my corner. I just want to say I'm happy to be fighting on HBO. I want to thank Top Rank and everybody for giving me this opportunity to fight one of the best out there. Thank you very much, Floyd. Thank you. We'll be seeing you soon. Jim? When he says he thinks he closed the show, that means he thinks he's been a show stopper. And with the help of his granny, he very nearly was tonight. Good wishes to the grandmother for her recovery, of course. Floyd Mayweather then throwing down the gauntlet to the man we'll see next, Oscar De La Hoya. For so long, he's had the limelight all to himself. But the world welterweight star, maybe, has got one or two of the youngsters creeping up on him. His chance to shine is next. There's another big day of live sport for you on Sunday on our three Sky Sports channels. A doubleheader of World Cup cricket once more. Australia against Pakistan, Kenya against India, plus live US tour golf action. Sky Sport 3, Scottish football, Rangers against Kilmarnock. That's followed by Rugby Union, the Barbarians against Leicester. And at 6.30, Spanish football action, Tenerife against Real Madrid. So 28 hours of live action for you on Sunday on our three Sky Sports channels. One big performance already on Sunday. It's come from Floyd Mayweather. He is still WBC World Super Featherweight Champion, a ninth round KO win over Justin Juco. And from start to finish, Floyd Mayweather had the experts in the studio drooling over his quality. So who wants to go first, Barry? Uh, let me just tell you, this is the best young fighter I have seen for years and years and years. He's absolutely fantastic. He's got everything. He reminds me, we were talking off air and you drew an analogy with Sugar Ray Robinson. And I can tell you that is absolutely spot on. This <coughs> kid is so talented, I can't rave enough about him. And I'll tell you one thing, Nassim Hammond will not want anything to do with this guy. Oh, what a fight that would be. Oh, Gary Jacobs, your turn to rave. 
Yeah, I think he's fairly formidable. Uh, as I said in the beginning, we gave uh, Juco a chance, but on that he had no chance. He was just outpowered, out too slow he looked.